Here are the San Diego Fire Department's methods for tying tools off prior to sending them aloft. The firefighter starts by tying a figure eight follow through to create an anchor. The firefighter starts by tying a figure eight stopper knot, making sure to leave enough tail to create the follow through. After tying the stopper knot, he takes the end of the rope and follows the figure eight back through the opposite direction. After weaving the line around the figure eight, he dresses his knot to clean it up and has a figure eight follow through. It should look like this when you're done tying it. To tie off a pick headed axe to send aloft, first tie a figure eight on a bite. The figure eight on a bite should look like this when you're done. Pass it down over the handle and around the head of the axe. A half hitch is then placed on the handle of the axe using the haul line. The haul line is to the right of the screen for this video. This is what the half hitch should look like on the handle. This gives the firefighters hauling the axe up something safe and easy to grab when the tool reaches them. As the tool is being hauled up, another firefighter down below will be tending the line to ensure the line stays taut and the tool isn't allowed to crash into the building. Next is the halligan bar. A clove hitch is placed near the claw of the halligan bar and tightened down. This is what the clove hitch should look like on the bar. A half hitch is then placed on the neck of the bar, passing the haul line between the pick and the adds like this. Firefighters can now safely hoist the tool aloft. Next up is a pike pole. Notice the pike pole is tied exactly the same as the halligan so that the firefighters above have something easy and safe to grab onto as the tool is hoisted aloft. It's a clove hitch at the bottom, followed by a half hitch up top. Here we have a roof hook. Tools with a D-handle and a shaft, such as a roof hook or scoop shovel, can be tied with a bowline on a bite through the handle and a half hitch on the downline to control the tool from below as shown here. The firefighter places a loop through the D-handle and then ties their bowline on a bite on the upline. Once they're done tying that off, they move down to the bottom of the roof hook and tie a half hitch. Clean up each knot, removing any slack in the line, and the tool is ready to be hauled. When it's all done, it should look like this. A chainsaw shall be tied with a bowline on a bite. Take a bite through the trigger handle and the handle frame, and then tie it off on the haul line so that the firefighters above will grab the handle first, not the blade. Make sure to tie off your bowline on the upline. And it should look like this when hauling. To tie off hose with the nozzle, tie a clove hitch around the hose, followed by a half hitch behind the bale and a second half hitch on the nozzle. The two half hitches should be tied to cover the bale to help keep it shut. Once the clove hitch and two half hitches are tied, clean the knots up, take out any slack, and the line is ready to be hauled. And finally, a toolbox can be hauled aloft if it's tied correctly. To do so, we tie a handcuff knot. A handcuff knot is similar to a clove hitch, but two loops are pulled through the knot in either direction. So, start by running a bite through the handle before tying the handcuff. The loops of the knot are then passed around both ends of the box, securing the lid, and then tightening down 
once in position. This knot can be hauled with either end of the rope. 